I want to demonstrate how you can do loan amortization on your uh, financial calculator. Now, loan amortization shows how a loan is paid off over time and how the payment is divided between interest and principal. And in a previous video, I talked about how you create an Excel spreadsheet that does this. Now, in this case, I've already done it, but let me just quickly go over it. Here I'm assuming that, let's say we have a car loan uh, for $20,000. It's a four-year car loan, and it's going to be paid off monthly, so 48 months. The interest rate, I'm going to assume, is 6% per year, or half a percent per month. And if I work out the payment, the payment is $469.70. In fact, let me do that on the calculator. So if you're working out the payment here on the calculator, the first thing you want to do is make sure you clear your time value of money worksheet. Number of payments is 48, so that's N. The interest rate is half a percent, so that's 0.5. And that goes in as I slash Y, interest rate per year, interest rate per period. And the loan amount is 20,000 and that's the present value and we compute the payment and we get the same amount 469.70 now when you create a loan amortization table what this table shows you is you start out with a loan balance of twenty thousand you make a payment of 469.70 and a hundred dollars in that first month is interest and that's half a percent times the 20,000 and you can put in the formula here so I put in this uh, the interest rate times the amount here and then how much goes to paying off the principal well the amount that you paid minus the amount that goes to interest so 369.70 and the ending balance is going to be the beginning balance which is in B8 minus the amount of principal that gets paid off I've also put in here the cumulative amount of interest and principal that's paid. So in the first year, you're paying one year's worth of interest, and you're paying off $369.70 of the principal. And then in the second year, we do the same thing. Now you've paid off, uh, you've paid $198.15 in interest, right? The first year and the second year's interest, and you've paid off $741.25 in principle, and that would be these two numbers added together, the first year's principal that's paid off plus the second year's. Now, you can also do this on the financial calculator. And the financial calculator allows you to do this by hitting the key second AMORT, that's amortization. And you can see here it starts at period one, and then we have a second period, and let's say that second period is also period one. So I'm going to put in enter, and it shows me what my ending balance is, $19,630.30. And if I scroll down, if I use the down arrow key, I see that I've paid off $369.70 in principal. The interest is 100. And but I can change these numbers. Let's say I want to see what it looks like in year two. So I can go from period two just to period two. So I'm going to put in two to two. And you can see that my ending balance now is 19,258.75. The amount of principal I paid off in that period is 371.55. And then the amount of interest I paid in the second period is 98.15. And you can do this for any period. Let's take period uh, 15. Well, let's say 12. Okay, so the uh, last month. Make sure you hit enter so you see the equal sign. And so we'll go from 12 to 12. And let's see where we are. In the 12th month, the balance is 15,439.54, which is what we have here if we just round off this three to a four. The principal that we paid off is 390.55. 
and the amount of interest we paid is 79.15. What you can also do is you can look at from one period to several periods to see, so let's see how much we paid off in the first year. So from month one to month 12. Well, the ending balance is the same, 15,439. But how much principal have we paid off? This is the cumulative amount, uh, 4,560 and 46 cents. And that would be right here. So here I have the cumulative amount, which would be the amount of principal we paid off in year, uh, in month one, plus month two, plus month three, et cetera. And it has a cumulative amount of interest we paid, which is 1,075 and 94 cents. So while I find it kind of um, confusing to use this, it's much, I find it much easier to look at a table in Excel. If you happen to be taking an exam and you don't have a spreadsheet available to you, this can be very handy for figuring out the amortization um, for each period. Okay, how much uh, interest is paid each period, how much principal is paid each period, and what the ending balance is. And if you want to know the cumulative amount of interest, or the cumulative amount of principal, what you would do again is you would go from whatever period your your first payment is made or whatever period you're interested in to the next period uh, to the um, next period here we wanted to look at the total for one year so we went from month one to month 12. if i were only interested in knowing how much we paid in the first two months i could go from one to two so i can change that let's just try that so from one to two and we see that, again, the ending balance, the balance is always the same for the last period. That tells you what the balance is. And it'll tell me that I paid, again, 741.25 in principal, and I paid 198.15 in total interest in years one and two. So this is kind of a handy feature on your financial calculator. Um, Again, I think it's easier to do it on a spreadsheet, and if you haven't seen my video on how to do it in a spreadsheet, you may want to take a look at that. But again, if you're doing a calculation uh, quickly in an exam or you just want to look something up, um, this can be very handy.